Hi there. This is Adele and Mike from Quadricopter, and you are looking at some of the latest DJI drones. Yeah, we're checking out. We've got two Patrice 300s up here, and then of course we've got the little brother, the M200 over there. Uh, we've got the dual payload set up going here with the spotlight on the H20T. Setting these things up has been going really nicely. DJI is making it pretty darn easy. Everything's been done through the, through the RC for updates, uh, with the exception of the H20T. Still got to throw an SD card in there to, to get that updated. Um, otherwise, the 300 has been working out really nicely. We're waiting on, let's see, two new payloads from DJI, the P1 and the L1. Uh, the P1 is going to be a 45 megapixel. 45 megapixel 45 meg camera. Full frame. Uh, it's going to work off the X7 lenses, so that's going to give you know the guys doing surveying and mapping uh, an advantage with the 300 series because you're not really mapping with the H20T. You know, it's more of an inspection type setup. Um, the L1 is going to be their lidar, um, working off of a Livox system, I believe. Uh, they're talking about 18,000 for that L1. Uh, they're thinking about 9,000 for the P1 as well. Yeah, so we're pretty fired up to see the new payloads come out from DJI. Um, I am looking forward to that uh, P1 45 megapixel camera. Yeah, they've got some cool new mapping modes in it as well. So, you know, we're used to flying a straight down, you know, nadir flight. Now they've got a mode where the camera will, will swing and get obliques and straight down all within the same flight path. So that should save a lot of time. They've got a lot of really cool inspection modes in here as well for like high-res grid photos. Um, I, I don't know if you guys have messed with the dual controllers much. It's hard to see the screen on that. Yeah, the whole switching between pilot and cam op has been like really smooth. Um, just a quick touch of the button will give you, uh, we'll switch the modes over. Uh, so that's been really fun. So this is kind of a new feature for, on the 300 where you can switch your pilot controller um, in the field. So you can stretch your distances, um, still keep a line of sight, but you could send somebody further out, transfer operation or control of the drone. Yeah, so maybe hard to see, but you just got a little button up in the corner here. Simple as that, it, your controllers vibrate. This one now has cam op control and this one took over pilot. Um, so the ability to switch back and forth is really nice. Plus the whole new interface here has been making things really easy to operate this system. You've got a lot going on now. You know, you've got dual cameras, a lot of new features, but they've made it all work in this little compact screen. You know, it had been a while since we've done a little live update here. Um, and some other new things that are happening in the FAA world. Everybody's up in arms about the FAA requiring a remote ID. But, uh, you know, the more we dig into it, it's the way of the future. Um, it's not as daunting as it sounds, especially when you're a professional flying these systems. Um, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think, you know, that's the only way we're going to get our you know, regulations to the next level. If you guys want to fly beyond line of sight, do package deliveries, all this cool stuff, uh, they need to know who's flying around in the sky, you know. Um, a lot of us are flying right and legally, you know, and that's a good thing, but there's other people who are not, so we need to know what's going on out there. Uh, we're getting, when will the L1 sensor be for sale? It should be soon, quarter one, you know, the next couple of weeks we should start getting official pricing and release dates. Um, you could always contact us and we'll send some more information over to you. Yeah, we're being told that L1 P1 is going to start shipping by the end of the first quarter. So, March? Yeah, that's probably what it'll end up being like. Um, they should give you a year of DJI Terror with those. That's what they were kind of talking about in the webinar. So, you've got a solution for processing at least. That's um, cool. Yeah, the H20T has been working off of there to analyze the thermal footage and that. They've got a new thermal analysis tool, which is something new as well from them, since you're not really operating with FLIR tools anymore. Yeah, and then over here we've got the M200, not to be forgotten about, way, way smaller in comparison, but still a, a really solid drone. So we've got this one set up for um, the Altum, which is a multi-spectral, uh, visual, and thermal uh, all-in-one. 
pretty pretty simple integration. You've got the light sensor up top. We'll run a cable down here, and, uh, and this one's got the sky port, so we could actually program the mission through the pilot app, which is kind of slick. Okay, so you have the multi-spectral Altum on there. Um, difference between that and the Red Edge? Red Edge is no thermal. So sometimes thermal helps you see things the multispectral won't really pick up as well on. So to have that thermal lens in there is, is another level. Um, cool. Z15 has been super bright. I'm not going to blind us with that, but that's been working out really well. I didn't have to update that. I just threw it right on and, and it seems to seems to be working just fine. You've got to go into your menu settings to turn that on, but... Um, yeah, That's, don't do that. We will not do that. <laughs> uh, they've got a strobe light mode in there now as well, um, slow or fast strobe. Uh, so that's been working out well. H20T, you know, that zoom camera has been super impressive. That's been the big takeaway for me is doing the smart track and being able to actually pan smoothly and zoom in with the joysticks. Um, compared to the Z30, it's, it's night and day. Nice. For sure. If you're thinking about an M300 or have any questions on the P1L1, give us a call out here at Quadricopter. This is Mike and Adele just showing you some of the latest and greatest. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to try to fly one of these, uh, but uh, right now it's pouring <laughs> down rain in Montana, so we thought just a ground video now, and uh, we'll finish up in the air. Yep, sounds good.